Do you want to be a clinical project manager or a clinical project manager? Most people don't know the difference, but you need to know so you can get the job you want. Let's look at the first type of CPM, more common with smaller CROs and smaller trials. This is a very hands-on position. You typically oversee and manage communications among smaller functional groups and work as a contributor to those teams. You might lend a helping hand to anything from ICFs to the CSR. Most of all you'll oversee the clinical operations and the clinical team. Okay, now let's look at another kind of CPM more common with larger CROs and larger trials. In this role, you are less of a contributor to project teams. Functional leads report into you, which includes a lead for clinical operations. In this role, you are not nearly as hands-on with the clinical operations. You wouldn't interfere with the work of your clinical lead any more than you would interfere with the work of your lead statistician. You rarely interact with the clinical team unless there is a need for escalation. More time in this role is spent managing timelines, budgets, and forecasting, preparing and presenting data to higher-ups, and navigating the natural bureaucracy that comes from large organizations and large project teams. Did you know there was a difference? Well, now you do, and for more insights like this, please subscribe to our channel.